let's get going we we got some bad information from the kid but we have photos and i'm kind of worried that he has a photo he said he has a photo of every time the steel samurai the guy and i'm scared that he has an actual death photo and that's going to be what this is going to come down to to show us who actually did the murder um so that's a little scary um, so we'll go ahead and save here and jump into the next, uh, the next court time. Trial three, day three, daytime, nighttime. We got filthy photos. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, um, Mr. Wright. Yeah? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right to Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dip in walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. That's... it's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. This defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studio. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your, fir with your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder who will be that producer. Uh, the prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the sand. Or that director. Uh, will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I am the director. I make steel samurai, noob. Raffle. Sal Manila. I'm the director. Television. Are you at Global Studios the day of the murder? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Mm, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. I was at the studios from around 9 a.m. that morning. Uh, during the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. And we had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were at the meeting until around 4. During that meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30, and according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. All right, we gotta put the pressure. Pressure! I was at the studios at 9 that morning. Is that when you always come to work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freak. <laughs> God! <laughs> know about the freaks in your industry. Still, for what it's worth, I was pretty busy all day. Uh, tell us more about that. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through In the employee area? That's right. It was a fight scene between Steel Samurai and Evil Magistrate. Was there anyone else at the run through 
Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Lol. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. He certainly has the lungs for it. Uh, anybody else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? All right, that's the, rim, the limp. Uh, which of course led me to missing my lunch, Roths. Roths rolling on the floor, starving? <laughs> Sorry, that one didn't make me laugh. <laughs> uh, what exactly did they have for lunch? <laughs> T-bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. I think that there was a plate with some bones on in the employee area. And everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat them. But I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix? Yeah. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, it does because there were plates over there. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manila? Uh-huh. What did you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Who ate lunch? Oh, uh, uh, good call. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't want to mention it. Oh, but I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I expect as much. He looks like someone who likes to eat. He looks like someone who eats food. That's what I meant to say. He does look like someone who eats food. Fucked up. So, when exactly did you eat it? Uh, we took a break during that one meeting. I wolfed it down then. A mental image I'll carry with me to my grave. Oh, uh, wait a second. They took a break in that meeting that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a little bit more. We were in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? Uh, the Steel Samurai story in our budget. Get this, the sponsors turned to me and said, Mr. Manila, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe this? Actually, I kind of can't. Um, hmm. So, nobody left the table during the whole meeting. They're in the meeting? Well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. You didn't take a single break? Er, well, yeah, yeah not the one. Hmm, what's he sweating about so much, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Wait a second? Mr. Manila, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during that break? Oops, we're awful. Well? Um, Mr. Manila, what's this about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call the witnesses testify to the court about this break. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Or... <laughs> oh no, Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes, 15, and that's 13 on base 12. Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lol. That's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Hmm, I don't think this would be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break. And for what it's worth, we're going to do a little save here.
Oh, wait, I wanna- I wanna press! I wanna press! Press him, press him! What time exactly did you take this break? Um, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 30. That's the time of the death. So he could have gone to Studio One and killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. It's too cringe for me to say F-W-I-W. -W. <laughs> I thought about it, but I felt too cringe doing it, so I didn't. Uh, what were you doing with those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Sorry. DeVasquez's plate. DeVasquez, the producer. To, de to eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the tri trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. White? You surely aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. White, Phoenix, this is crucial. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Yes! If I agree to let everyone in the trailer off the hook, the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break of the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. All right, I got the judge thinking now. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew from 2.15 to 4, the paths from the studios were blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head was fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right. True, the break of the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter-argument, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid you lose this round. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on the case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the studio to in studio the day of the murder. However, it was clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All this is lacking in decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have would have found Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. Who is the witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear from your witness. The court is adjourned for the recess. Oh my god, we have to pull out the picture of the dead guy in the kid's book, and I hate that. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in the trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. The only thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. 
I thought there was more to it than that. I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in the courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai. Heal the children. Ev hero to children everywhere, after all. I, you, thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years and this is a murder case, we worry that his defense might cause unnecessary trauma with cruel, his cruel questioning. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Guards, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Well, the witness state his name and grade in school. Witness. What? Uh, just cause you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. Uh. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hawkins. I'm in second grade. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Witness, uh, I mean Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with a beard over there? Just, uh, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer a bearded gentleman myself. Uh, very long day. Incidentally, Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in the courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that were possible. Wait, so you're saying at the bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet. I bring it to me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had the camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of that in the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path. The old lady couldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out of the studio, there was Steel Samurai. I was totally rocked right before my eyes out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! I had my camera with me. That would have been the time for a shoot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Alright. Alright, this is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? We will... Let's, let's definitely do a save here. Alright, I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. Went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Um, I want to look here. Hold on. Can I see this? I, okay. I'm going to ask about that. Off the path. 
Yeah, you know about the studios in the valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anywho, I was going for the studio. Kind of, kind of lost on the way for about 30 minutes. You got lost in the woods. Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When he came out of the studio, there was still a samurai. A steel samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. Looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the steel samurai took him down. Pow! What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. <laughs> I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yeah, yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot. Uh, if you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? Uh, no, I wasn't. It's not like I just have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. I wanted to see Samuel. Okay. Um. Is that the day, first time you've been in the studio? Actually, I've been there a couple times. Never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. The security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. I'm not supposed to talk, which cutting me off all the time. <laughs> Alright, is there any... <sighs> is there any other information? Taped every show, whatever live performance. See, yeah, yeah, I've been the music part. Dad always takes me. Poor, poor Dad. Okay. Alright, so I think I questioned... Is there anything else here? Unusual. Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey. Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio. His head wasn't busted. His head wasn't busted? Did I question all these things? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know, he was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. That... Is there, did I question this? I did. Okay. Um. Alright. I. This is now one of those times again where I'm like not quite sure what to present here. Um. The thing he said about... Can I present this? Does this show? The witness statement is clearly faulty, your honor. I'm sorry, but... Because, ah! Yeah, I thought maybe... Maybe... Okay, can we... Oh, shit! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I clicked too fast. Can I...
Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? Oh, I was putting tr pressure on too much. What is this digital camera tr contraption you're talking about? It's a uh, digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. It's kind of a new sort of camera. Remember like 20, 25 years ago? How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, our prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Mm, very well. Please testify the court about what you were busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me. I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Steel Samurai he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules! Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. All right, I definitely do need to do some saving here because I'm taking taking some hits for sure. All right. Why didn't you use it? All right. I didn't use it because I was busy watching the real thing. Blue to the action, I couldn't take my eyes off it. You were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. Uh, Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Hey, dopamine, how you doing? So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah! What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was busy watching the Steel Samurai. Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. You did such a good job, you Yo, Shadow Magic, I think you're tier three for 57 months. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, that's the Steel Samurai brought him to ju justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do that? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, and a samurai chop, and a samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Cody. Something's bothering me. Before you said you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. What's the meaning of this? The witness has stated we saw it quite clearly. You know... As well as I do, that as you know as well as I do, he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? My point is this, Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. 
but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how you might have missed something so vital? Uh, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you can figure this out. I'm certain that this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? All right, let me, let me really, I think I know what's going on here, but let me do a quick little save. Just in case, don't want to mess it up. Um, it's because he's watching something else. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else, probably. Probably. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol, the Steel Samurai, fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Mr. Wright, please refrain from making. I am certain that this young boy is a great fan of Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Uh, this? Here's my proof. Um, uh... Uh, shit. I thought it was the, the head falling. Maybe he got distracted by it. Um... Um... He's trying to learn the camera. The witness stated that he recently received the camera. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. But where are that too? Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Bullseye. Oh, what's your problem, Bops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. Ugh, pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. It's smart of you to realize that there's no way he could stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Cody, there's only one reason you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testifies once more. About why you didn't take a picture of the fight. Um... Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held on my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Poor kid. All right. Do another save. Objection. Hold it. Pops. Yeah, I called you Pops, spiky haired geezer. Uh, geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth, and I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I hate about growing ups. You're all so self conscious. Okay, off with, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify. Yipes. Steel Samurai just escaped, uh, escaped from the clutches of the villain. So, you did see the beginning of the fight. 
Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the steel samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? A new camera had too many lens. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and a steel samurai. That was all that happened. Uh, that's all? Y yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have had one. I would have once I had the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? No, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Like, why? I, I guess here's my trouble through all this. Why is the kid lying? I, I'm i just sitting here not sure why the kid... Like, what's the kid... I don't know. Maybe we're going to find out once we, like, push a little more. But, like, right now I'm not convinced, like, there's any reason for this kid to lie about any of this stuff. Yeah, I took a picture. Uh, perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. We saw him vent! <laughs> you erased them? Uh, yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know... Well, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Mm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon, or even some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? Scrapbook. This gotta be it now. Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Uh, uh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance, and I always take a picture when I see the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe you would just erase it. Would you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures from Steel S of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order, Mr. Wright. You have an explanation. If the Steel Samurai had always had just defeated his adversary, I'm. So I certainly would have expected to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And what the truth and what a truth it is. But Mia, are you sure about this? Did he actually Is it gonna- it's gonna end up being the kid- Why- ah! Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is.
The Steel Samurai didn't win. I can only think of one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N no way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his own words. There was a reason why he lied. He told us he didn't take the photo. Same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, this was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. He's a little bitch. Order. <laughs> I don't have order. Witness. I mean, uh, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... That day, you saw the Steel Samurais lose a fight, didn't you? Uh, okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Uh, order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Hammer was the victim, Samurai was the victim, there was no victim. I... <laughs> you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lies still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph you're saying the man in the costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, had Mr. Hammer got to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the seal samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? Uh, I don't know. I get it. I thought the steel samurai was moving strange. So I took... So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh huh? Me? What? Actually, there's one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not gonna look at me like that. Now. Here. Here it is. Look at this photograph. Well, looking at this, it's still hard to say. I'm afraid it could be anyone in that costume. 
your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like we have the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Oh, what? Your Honor! May I see that photo one more time, please? Phoenix, show him! There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts that we all know with this photo. He's at Studio 2. Does this light up? He's at Studio 2! Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, 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 that's impossible. Huh? Hey, what's this all about? Please explain. I, so I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what we do see in this photo, taken at the time of the murder, it does not say one on the gate in that photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. The murder took place in Studio Two. Here, at Studio Two. That explains the two in the gate of the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the, the murder took place in Studio Two. Um, um, I definitely know the answer, and the answer is that uh, the trailer's there. You may recall there's a trailer at Studio Two. Now on the day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonilla and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, I suppose that to be the case. Remember, Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one at the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. And the kid who was in the woods which means other people could have been through the woods but we'll not talk about that the defense makes the following claims the scene of the crime was in studio 2 the person at the security guard miss old bag saw was the victim mr. Jack Hammer mr. Hammer for some reason stole a steel samurai costume then he went to studio 2 this is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal the samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it to cover up the details of his own murder? W well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have some proof? Give me the proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I definitely have proof. Yeah. Here's my proof that Jack Cannon stole the costume. Here's my proof. Here's... here's... Can I... Mm. Sleeping pills. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. 
sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Oh, wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes, but there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. And that idea is to fingerprint the bottle. Check for a bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Ah, this is so long. Why? <laughs> Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities with this case. In fact, things have ha may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The seal samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2. And those in the trailer did not did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following questions. Why would Mr. Hammer steal this, the Steel Samurai costume? Who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Mr. Edgeworth? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need a reminder. You'll need to reconsider your suspicions of Mr. Will Powers. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Oof, that was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. <laughs> Me too. R really? You both seem so, so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead <laughs> Oh, of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. 